Merci. Merci. Anxiety and many other things that in our discussions here you get to understand. Once again, thank you very much, sir. I think we'll take it from here and uh, the mother will be able to understand how to better live with the same Thank you so much. Thank you. Has not been easy since I had Nasi as a child. Nasi has been a source of pain to me because when I delivered her, she came out the way she did. I don't know where she came from. I've been to the pastor. They say that she's a curse from God and that they cannot change it. I've even gone to the rich doctors. I've gone to see them if there is something I can do to change, and they say it has to like that because it's punishment and I cannot work, I cannot work like this. I don't know what I did to deserve this. It's difficult to live with that see, and I cannot take it. I can't. Just show her your back. Who sent you into my pot of meat? Who, who asked you to take me from the pot? Nobody. Why do you need your meat? Mom, it's because yesterday God be well to try it tonight in full bowl. And is that why you had to enter my pot? No, Mom. Eh? Just that... From which you use that thing. Come here. I will teach you a lesson of your life. Go and give me a cake. I will help you out. And I will start with you. I will start with you. Come back here, you. You little witch. You have been a source of problem. You have been a source of problem. Come here. Why are you running? I will teach you. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Mama, I'm not 
children like that see, suffer a lot in the community and because of ignorance on the part of the family, on the part of the community, even the religious orientations, culture has made a lot of children like that see, to suffer untold pain, trauma and all of that. Disability is not witchcraft. Disability is not punishment from God, like you were quoting from the, from the scripture. It's a misquotation of the scripture. Ndasi was born with an impairment, and there are a lot of different causes, a lot of different things that will occur. Ndasi, those tears, what are they communicating? If they were to talk, what would they be telling us? Let your mother be able to understand why you're crying at this point. Children like that see, suffer a lot in the community and because of ignorance on the part of the family, on the part of the community, even the religious orientations, culture has made a lot of children like that see, to suffer untold pain, trauma and all of that. Disability is not witchcraft. Disability is not punishment from God. Dasi was born with an impairment and there are a lot of different causes. Maybe the, you did not go for antenata. Maybe you did not take the medications that were given to you. Maybe, just maybe, or maybe that's how God wanted Dasi to be. And because Dasi lives with an impairment, it doesn't mean that Dasi is not a human being. It doesn't mean that Dasi doesn't have rights like your other children who have or have who live without disabilities. The school has been able to accommodate Dasi. That's why when they came to the hospital and they have treated her, 
they brought her to our department because of the ignorance out there we have counseled that Sindasi is okay and you see because of that attitude that you neglected her and you, you, you thought that she was a witch you thought that she's an ill love Sindasi ended up in the house of the very uncle who should protect her but that's the person who raped her but now it's about you I have to be her number one advocate I have to be the number one to protect her from him in any way. Child abuse is a crime, punishable by fines and imprisonment. Stop child abuse. Stop the abuse of children with disabilities. Protecting and safeguarding children is a collective responsibility. Remember, leave no child behind. This is a message from the CBC Health Services in partnership with Liliana Foundation, CBM, and the Ministry of Social Affairs.